Hey, welcome back to Rob's Garage Woodworking. Today I'm just going to talk a little bit about PEX plumbing. Now, PEX plumbing um, is really super easy to use. It's it's great to work with. It's fast. Um, I really uh, love it. I'll show you a little demonstration between uh, uh, both of them later. Um, but right now, let's just talk a little bit about the tools that you need. So right here, this is a, a crimp tool. And this one is a Sherlock. Uh, pinch clamp tool they call it and this one will use uh, either the half inch size or the three quarter inch size and they have these cool um, they call them uh, pinch clamps and these things are supposed to last forever so you'll need a tool and then you need a plastic tubing cutter alright well you don't need one but it makes life easy they're super fast and I'll show you why alright and so the crimp tool is $52.99, uh, the tubing cutter was $12.99, and then other things that you're going to need for this is that you're going to need to convert um, your copper, if you have copper, to uh, PEX. So they have these little conversion ones. Now this, I don't know what size this is, this is the wrong size because it doesn't fit together. Um, so that's probably why I still have it, because it's useless. Uh, <laughs> and then you have like your elbows, uh, you have couplers, right? And then you have T's and the plugs. And then you have different valves that you can get for it. Um, there's all sorts of different valves. This one is like a T that goes off to, uh, I don't even know what it's, it doesn't really say, but it's one of the other ones that goes for like your ice maker on your fridge and stuff. So I, they're expensive, but. I got a couple of those. Uh, the other thing that you're going to need are these J hooks. They have like a nail, and what that does is it fits into the uh, the PEX tube, and you nail it in place uh, to support it. And then, of course, you need your um, snap rings or uh, pinch clamps, I should say. So, there's a couple of different kinds of PEX tools. There's this kind with these pinch clamps and then there's the other one um, the other tool professionals use uh, it's like hundred and twenty dollars for the tool some of them are only half inch some of them are only three quarters some of them will do both some of them are, are on angles uh, they are good very good and they use a different ring um, so if you are going to do a lot then that's the way to go uh, if you're just a handyman at home then this is the way to go with the uh, the uh, pinch clamp tool. Now, the pinch clamp tool is also a lot smaller, right? And when you use it, if it doesn't clamp all the way, you can't take it out. So you have to finish all the way so you can open it up again. And then the tubing cutter is very self-explanatory. You put the tubing in, you like that, it cuts it really, really fast. It's so good. And then the blade on this one, this is the rigid one, but this one, the blade is reversible. So after I wear out this side of the blade, I can flip it around and, and use the other side, which is cool. And the blade is relatively thick on this. It's not like a, a small knife blade. Oh. And here's some of the uh, tubing. So this just shows you how quick, quick and easy it is. So I'm going to take it, I'm going to cut a piece of tubing off. There's a piece of tubing. I'm going to crimp this guy on here, this plug. So you put the uh, crimp ring over top, or what do they call them again? Pinch clamps. All right. So you take that, you put the tube, you put it over top of the tube. You put this over top of the fitting. Move it down a little bit. Take your cutters. Oh, not your cutters. <laughs> you take your PEX crimp tool and then you put that inside and I hold it like that and then you just push it's quite a quite a lot of pressure actually and then once it's all the way then you release it and there you go Here, here's a closer look and this ring here okay it has that neat little 
spot on it there. There's like three places that holds it in place. And if you want to take this out, you can actually bend that out and then grab it here with a pair of pliers or a screwdriver and pry it back and it'll take it off and you can reuse this fitting. Pretty cool, eh? So that's it. That's how quick and easy that was. Um, so fast. Alright, so <laughs> I tried uh, for a little while using a pair of pliers and a screwdriver to try to pry this off like they say that you can, but I was unsuccessful. Um, and it's it's really a tough uh, a, a tough ring. Um, but it has to be for your plumbing, right? So it's good. And it just proves that it's good because I couldn't get it off. <laughs> Sorry. So normally what I do is I use like a, a Dremel with a cutting blade and I cut into it and then uh, I just don't go too deep and it doesn't affect the uh, the fitting at all. Alright, so that's normally what I do. And it's, yeah, that's it basically. Um, super easy. I love to use the PEX. It makes my life so much better and I'm going to show you some uh, PEX videos in the future. Alright, uh, different plumbing stuff that I'm doing. Alright, anyway, thanks for watching.